Start by you know thanking our players uh, for their work, for their effort. You know the way they compete on the court is is always what we're looking for. It's kind of the first thing uh, when we're thinking about a player and thinking about a team is how do they compete. And we couldn't be more proud. Um, you know, really from the first day in Athens uh, to the last possession yesterday, um, the character and, and the competitiveness of the group is, is just high high level. You know, I think our coaches, I say it all the time, um, how, how great they are, how much they do for, you know, for our players first and foremost, for me. Uh, I just think it's an amazing coaching staff, uh, all the time and effort and energy they put into everything. Um, I think Wes Wilcox as our GM uh, is incredible and invaluable um, you know, to me, to everything we do, um, to putting together a group um, like we have. Um, you know, going back for three years, how this group's been put together. Uh, he and you know the the entire group um, knows what we're looking for, knows what's important, and just feel incredibly uh, fortunate to have a partner like Wes uh, to work with. Um, you know, for our season, I, I think uh, you know the way we um, you know played defensively, um, how we grew and. Um, that became somewhat of an identity for us. I think is something, you know, uh, our organization, our players take a lot of pride in. It's uh, guarding and, and defending is not easy. Um, you know, I think that the little bit of, you know, there's some, feel like we maybe left a few games on the table. Um, you know, we could have maybe had a little more success. I think there's a, you know, feeling like we could have been better and, and we can be better going forward. Um, you know, and I think just to, to finish with the playoffs, uh, you know, to compete against a team like Cleveland um, and, you know, going to yesterday's game, um, going down to, you know, basically the last possession, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, there's an edge uh, with our team. I think there's probably an edge in the city or a frustration to some degree probably with the media and that's because there's an expectation now uh, with our team and with our organization that we want more and uh, so the second round and, and losing um, you know there we're all we all want more players coaches you know Wes management um, I'm assuming the city and I think it's great that we put ourselves in that position where there's some expectations uh, people want and expect a lot of us, and we embrace that. So tomorrow, the challenge is to come in, get to work, find a way to get better, find a way to, uh, to you know, go to that next level and uh, meet or exceed you know, all the expectations that we have for ourselves and uh, everybody else around us has. So, um, you know, it's, it's tough. <clears throat> Losing or, or being knocked out of the playoffs is not easy, but now um, you get back to work. Uh, for us and find a way to uh, to go to that next level, that next step. When you look at the season and talk about the expectations, there, there perhaps is a segment of the fan base that says, look, you guys can get past number one twice, maybe you need to call this thing. What would you say as the coach, the president, to that, how important is it to keep what you've got here together? Well, you know, losing um, to Cleveland twice is, is tough. Um, but to the fan base or to people think that, you know, if we want to find a way to beat, whether it be Cleveland or whoever the, the, the great teams in our league or our conference are, um, blowing it up is probably not the way to, uh, to beat um, a team like Cleveland or whoever it may be that's, that's very good. Um, you know, so we value continuity. We value what this group has done, the success that they've had. Um, and lots of times continuity is your best hope for taking that next step. You know, can you have a balance of continuity and, and some additions and, and bolster it and, and walk that fine line of adding and, and embracing continuity um, or adding to the continuity? So if, if the question is about beating somebody, you know, I guess for five or six years, whatever team LeBron James has been on, the East has been trying to figure out how to beat that team. And we're, we're just like the rest of the East right now. And, that's the challenge that you know we'll come to tomorrow.